Numa Domain Ministry International brings you the word of God that is able to unveil the power that lies within you. Listen expectantly as Pastor Bongwe Clement brings the voice of Dogsa with power. Let the unction of the Lord carry you that you will bear fruits and that your fruit will abide. I say you will yield fruits in this season. That is a betting of another generation and we pronounce you as pastors of thousands of congregations that anywhere he stayed upon the ground shall break up. You shall be a major voice in the land, in the town of Inugu. There shall be heart ablaze. Glory to Yes, Lord, and all to thee we leave a pause in praise. You are the lamp of God, and I sing glory, 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 glory. Oh, sweet Jesus, we thank you so much for the studio church tonight. Thank you for what you did last week and what you are still on doing in the life of our hero. We thank you for this platform to be blessed of you and be a blessing to the whole world. Thank you, thank you, thank you because the entrance of your word giveth understanding in unto, even unto the simple. We receive your word with engrafted, that engrafted and sealed word and sure word of prophecy comes to us in this season. We welcome it, oh Lord Jesus. Thank you for what you said to do in our life and home tonight. We receive you into our spirit. We see your manifestation everywhere. We are glad, we are glad, we are glad. I will rejoice in your word. Thank you for the sweet fellowship, the communion with your word. Thank you. We give you all the praise in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Those in the studio church, can you rejoice? Those at home listening to me, can you rejoice? Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. You can have your seat. Glory to God. The last time we discussed, we said that we are the light of the world. Can we have that verse to recap one or two things as we keep continuing? We're dealing with the benefit of sonship. And we have, we're in point two, that the sonship assess us to light. And we're still trying to introduce the dimension of light so that we can get into the effect of the light properly. And tonight, we're going to see the three effects of light. What the light has ability to do in our life. When you welcome the light of God, which is the word of God. And each day you don't study the word or meditate on God's word. Or you don't put the word to work. You are missing out of light. So it's not enough to be in Christ. It's something else to utilize and take advantage of where you are. And can I hear you say amen? amen. Now, you see, you are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill. It means I cannot be hid. I've been commissioned to be, to, to, to be in charge. I've been commissioned to be at the top. Now, this place is a prophetic picture of Deuteronomy 28, where the Lord was speaking through Prophet Moses. He was saying, you shall be the head and not the tail. In other words, if you are going to be set on a hill, you cannot be hid. It means, now, when people are coming into town, they know that healing evangelists. They know that prophetess. They know when they are sick. They know where to tell. 
take them to they say no 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 this case take you to pastor bongre oh this case take you to pastor dennis this case take you to pastor rema they know where to refer some things to and, and i hear somebody at home and your community when they are broke and they need a community project they are going to run to you shortly hallelujah i received this prophecy i received this prophecy oh makeda hatala brother even the government shall look for us shortly because they know when we talk to the youth at all capacity the gospel will transform them the man of god Charles Spurgeon say this and i repeat he said any gospel that cannot transform the society is never a gospel the gospel is the good news of salvation and the word salvation is not a church thing it's a kingdom reality the word salvation is from the word savage mean to rescue i tell you the, the hand of god is rescuing you from that situation right now hallelujah 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 he says city next verse and we see verse 15 which we could not see the last time he said neither do men light a candle and put it under a bush hallelujah and in the book of proverbs the bible said that the spirit of man is a candle light unto the lord that he uses to search the inner part of the belly in other words your human spirit have a partnership with the light in you to bring you into a place of victory per time per place per situation and the bible said this is the victory that overcomes the world even our faith first john chapter 5 verse 4 and then we know this clearly that we are victors in the kingdom quite okay this is written but for you to assess victory in a day-to-day -day life you must wake up and move yourself to another level of what welcoming god's word in every day and every moment into your life now listen to me as a preacher i have a little temptation at the onset of my studying and we are still starting by the grace of god what is that little temptation there's always every scripture come with a package ego especially john 3 16. you can just walk into a meeting and the preacher will say can you open your bible to john 3 16. no come on someone will just cross their leg there's no point opening it they recite it from their scholastic ability straight go down fine your brain is to assist you your brain is a protocol that escorts you to the spirit realm your brain is it's not against your spirit realm. Your spirit realm depends on your brain. But if you can humble yourself from your spirit and then respond to every verse of scripture in its simplicity, in the course of trying to open it, God, something can jump into you and then requicken you, revitalizing you at that moment to see higher things that you have not seen in that light before. A time came in my life, and I, I was just you know, looking through the Bible and, and, I, and I came to chapter 3 of the book of John. And the spirit of the lord quickened my understanding and when i got to verse 16 i noticed that there is d in front of love this is a partner encounter for god so loved from that day i stopped seeking the love of god from that day i stopped praying for the love of god i just come to know from that light of john 3 16 that there is d the letter d in front of love that means which signify that love is in the past tense of his word that means i exist in the fact he's not trying to love me from that moment i brought myself and i started absorbing his love i started absorbing the past you know the, the finished love that he already had for me even while i'm yet a sinner i begin to absorb myself into that revelation and the beam of light begin to spread in that dimension now to love is not difficult for me because i know i have been loved a man who has been loved will not struggle to love not think i'm preaching somebody's message let me get into my area of calling hallelujah oh my lord shate kabaha he said neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel that business can be local after you listen to me that ministry can no longer be local listen i'm speaking from the mandate of apostolic and prophetic mandate god raised us to activate what is in you apostolic and prophetic mandate is not english word it's not a title it's an assignment by season and generation listen to me under the sound of my voice something great is happening to you that you can never recover to eternity you see but on a candlestick and it giveth light unto all that are in the house oh glory to god he give it light you know what he's trying to say that when you light a candle in your room and there are five people there if the remaining people assess the same light you know that was every scripture that come into your spirit that you welcome and begin to work for you the effect will be on your children the effect will be on your relative your immediate sphere of contact they will become a beneficiary they participate from it first 
That's why the Bible said the husband man shall be a first of all partaker of the fruit of the vine. And I decree in this season, the people around you will no longer be in dark of whether you're born again any longer. They are going to see the benefit of redemption in practical. And I prophesy tonight every barrier, whatever has been resisting the move and the call of God in your life is broken right now. The barrier to that abuseness is broken right now. The barrier to that rising is broken right now. Touch your number say, rising a moss in your life. Whatever you hear me, rising is a moss. Because it's prophetic. It has been written. That the path of the just is as a shining light. We're talking light. That means as a righteous man, I determine the height I, I attain. Yeah, I'm the chief determinant there, not God. God has finished it. It's finished. The finished work of Christ I've achieved. We know of that. But I need to assess what he has finished. Lord, I worship you. Almighty God. You are me terror. I Oh my Alright, what's he talking about the access to light? Can you write this down? The light is the scriptural dimension. The light we're talking about is the scriptural dimension. We said you are the light of the world, a city that cannot be hidden. I'm just trying to prepare your mind so that you can understand what we're talking about in detail. Now, this is scriptural dimension. Can we have John chapter 1, verse 1? And the Bible said, In the beginning was the world, and the world was with God. Hallelujah. And the world was with God, and the world was God. Next verse. The same was in the beginning with God. Oh, glory to God. I love the word of God because the word of God is so proud of himself. In the beginning, the word was with the word. The God you serve and the God that called you to himself through your salvation, the word of God was with him in the beginning. So we can't do without the word. That means whatever has not been in our life in this year of the world, the word of God is stepping in to be with it. That means the word of God is coming to be in our family. The word of God is coming in personality, in manifestation, through angelic activity so much in our life, in this dispensation. The same was in the beginning with God. Next verse 3. You know, he said, all things were made by him. Glory to God. All things were made by him. There is a certain law that governs every source. You want to deal with the devil? Give him the word. Because the word created him. He said all things were made. All things. Including the devil himself. All things does not exempt him. All things were made by him. And without him was anything made that was made. All things were made by him. And the him here is the word. All things were made by light. The him here is the light. Is the world. All right. Next verse. In him was life. Everybody, come on. Can we read together in the studio? In him was life, and the life was the light of men. Hallelujah. And the life was the life of men. The light of men. In him was life. And the life was the light of men. Can I have amplified version here? I want you to pick something. There's something that the Spirit of God is going to reveal to us briefly. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Can we read together? In him was life, and the life was, and the life was the light of men. The light of men. Can we have message translation? Message Bible. The message Bible. Can we read together? What came into existence was life. And the life was light to live by. Did you see light appear here now? He said, and the life was 
the light to live by. That means he's talking about scripture. We are to live by scripture. I'm not going to live by my certificate. I'm conscious of the life from God's word even while I have my certificate. I'm conscious of the instruction. I'm conscious of the direction, the illumination, the dimension of light that, 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 that came along with my sonship. The right I have in him to assess that deeper light. And while I have this consciousness doing my business, I know without reasonable doubt that I'm a success in that business, even without prayer, because I'm assisted. I'm living, I'm doing that business by the revelation of the light. I function in that business by the light in me. Can I hear you say amen? In other words, God is saying to us that no man can strive to do well without him. And who is this him? Life. And who is this life? The light. All right, can we just humbly go back to King James? Thank you, Lord Jesus. And the life was the light of men. All right, you can write this also. We are to walk in the consciousness of the light. What does it mean in practical? You traveling anywhere, just be conscious that light is on the way. Look up here. In the spirit realm, we don't travel by road. Neither do we travel by air. Neither do we travel from one place as in moving your physical body. We travel a dimension of light. The light of revelation that you carry can transport you into the future, into the past, into the very moment and the future. That's why the Bible says Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, Hebrew 10, verse 8, today and forever. What does it mean? The, the dimension of light, you could look through into the future and the light will assist you to see with the eye of Gaza, I mean the eye of boundless possibility, what people call the prophetic in the natural. Lord, as I'm speaking to you, now, I was talking with my son like, uh, some few days back. He, he made some design. Whatever you listen to me from, when in year 2020, the first day of the year is when this message is coming to you. It's a privilege. That's a good way to, be, to begin the year. And uh, my son bring up the, I wrote something about the cross overnight. And the Spirit of God said, he said, son, well, what is this crossing? Well, you are, you are in me. Where are you crossing from? And where are you crossing to? I said, wow, this is, this is, he said, no, you, you tell people that their life will shift supernaturally. So I, I, I corrected it. I said, please put it a night of supernatural shift. I never knew that I was hooking a certain ministry, a very popular ministry in Abuja. They declared the year of supernatural shift. Because the picture of the man of God has been in my front of my phone getting to a year. So that means the spirit realm who have hooked his frequency by just trying to love him and leave his picture on my phone. No, what to what? Supernatural shift. That is their year declaration. I don't want to mention name. Then there's this other ministry. I, 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 I said 40 days prayer of November before the prayer end, the Spirit of God transported us into the future. If you hear what I'm saying? In him was, this light can transport you to and fro. It can take you to the people's past. It can take you to the past to show you what was wrong in the foundation. Then bring you to the moment to show you the effect of what that past is causing and how to amend it. And then it can transport you into the future on how you can now take what you know at the moment to amend your ways into that glorious future. Come on, say, I'm in the light. I can't miss the road. I can't, I'm in the light. That's why I say the path of the justice has to shine in light. They, they say light. So every day, how, how does that scripture get fulfilled? That's what I'm sharing. You pick verses of scripture daily through meditation. You got to soak in God's word. Make it personal. It preachers that are under the sound of my voice. The problem you have is that you pick revelation to go and share to people where you have never been a partaker. 
you have to hold it to yourself first you have to digest it and make it work when you teach from experience impartation and 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 and, 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 and as, you know there's, there's an auction that come on people to start doing what you're talking about because it's a real encounter in your own life from the realm of scholastic ability you can you can listen to a tape and go and produce it people will clap hand but no impartation so we're in a generation where men of god preach not just the the, the life they took from a dead realm but rather it, it, someone's experience is what they preach on the pulpit In the kingdom we die to live i can't tell any man about it thank you jesus in him was life in him was life in him was life and the life was the light of man so we are that light we have come to assess this light and as i'm speaking to you this is the year you stay in god's world it's the year of the world in other words from the studio church i'm also showing you how to live this year in practical time we have to walk in the consciousness of this when you step into a place just know the light has come There's some point i just mentioned god didn't want me to go deeper into that and i'm not forcing myself when but some days he might bring me there to explain to you better but there's a point it's also quickening my spirit like i said you don't we travel with the light in us both into the future into the past and even to the moment it's a dimension thank you effect of light number one effect of light light produces illumination the word illumination is actually the word in genesis chapter 1 verse 2 he said and where god said let there be light the hebrew word is illumination direction ideas whatever you listen to to me from it may interest you to know when that's why most of you ask god at the beginning of the year like this a lot of people are fasting right now go and find go ahead seek him seek him earnestly search the world but don't I have issue don't quench the fire in april may all true hold it like that for three years you will break into a, you will shift into another realm can i hear you say amen you begin to shift even into people's damage you start you start cutting into levels of anointing God was saying it's a beautiful season God told us it's a beautiful season it's a year of the world it's a beautiful season and whatever but somebody read that out of Zion the perfection of beauty and he declared the year of perfection what is perfection what is beauty this is English problem now. Someone was seeing it that is a beautiful season. Another person is seeing it that is a year of perfection. When something is perfect, that means beautiful. That means God is speaking the same language. But someone was just declaring it yesterday. He must have picked it 10 years ago. And I prophesy wherever you hear me from. You have to live in the light when you start understanding and meditating on scripture for your personal changes first the effect will start showing faster and it will produce permanent result than this cramming bible and cramming people's message to go and preach when you get into a dimension of meditation you can god can give you a message for a generation in one second he will download it into you and it will just flow naturally it's an ability you can lure yourself into and it can just give you by impartation but whichever way is require a constant repetitive touch in the place of fellowship not just religious activities so number one he produces illumination he exposes us to illumination 
Light will begin to throw on our path. For instance, a dear man of God in this nation was having his PhD. And this is not a PhD of 10 years ago. Over 30 something, if not 40 something years ago. In a very popular university. And there was a particular problem in mathematics. It was, it was not, the project were not common in those days. So he was to drive an equation on how to arrive at that answer. So it took him more than 18 months. So one morning, he was having a, a quiet time at a Butemeta in Lagos. Rehabapsis could help Moses with his rod to part the rest. So as we're just sharing with his family about that, illumination, that verse brought an illumination. Get it now. An illumination hit his spirit. That the way you, this, when Moses, the water was one, flowing, there's no demarcation. That is the answer of the mathematics. Did he say yes? He says, so you can just divide the, the problem into two. Solve this one this way, leave it there. Solve the other one this way, then bring it together, you arrive at this answer. The same way that Moses did to the And he just followed it in minutes. He arrived at the answer and he screamed. To the person told him he's ready to defend. And did the defense and command. In fact, it was a talk of that season. Yet he didn't practice with the PhD. And today is the ministry effortless resolve. He doesn't shout. But the, the solution even to mathematics came from scripture. Please don't neglect the power and the efficacy of God's word. In foundation school, we talk about the, the, the characteristics of God's word. Don't ever neglect it. Those man who are, go back to them. It's a year of the world. What foundation? Oh my God. I, I, and I'm trusting the spirit of God. I'm going to pick that word foundation to teach you through the year. Yes, it will come all over to you again. In the kingdom, you don't go foundation school and then you feel it's something you pass. And, no, it's still real. That's what you see. I've not been trying to move to the next stage of whatever. We will be there shortly, but I even prefer you can go and you can go back to foundation school again if you are humble enough. Not to have certificate this time, just to enroll again. It's fun. You'll be shocked. The second training through it, you move to another level. Because the word of God is not what you think. You come in there, there is, a, there is something there that I need to press into you. You beat it. You compress it. The word of God is like the process of producing palm oil in Africa. Whatever you listen to me from. It's not an easy task. You see people climb the, the palm tree. As they are going, the palm tree will be shaking. The body will be They are climbing. They are climbing. And when they get in there, they go with matches. They hit it and hit it and hit it. When they are looking for an oil that produces light. No, it's a process. You use, you can use that oil to generate light. They hit it with force. The thing will fall from the sky again. Do you think it's an easy impact? Then they'll begin to pieces it. There's no mercy because there's something they need from that. They need an oil. The journey to oil is not an easy task, even in the kingdom. Why do we want to cut corners in the kingdom? And when they are done, they extract it out, they force it out and boil it in the drum. Is that, is that, is that a good? And then when they are done, they, if it's locally, they crush it. If it's with machine, they make sure they crush it. And then squeeze the oil out. And then carry the oil again and boil under a high temperature. Before they can welcome the product. Hey, it's not an easy task, brother. Thank you, Lord. I encourage you. May this picture not leave your heart. That you are a process and in the process. Whatever you listen to me from, I say you are a process in the process. And when you go through process, you end up a refined product. Because there's no glory without a story. Stop cutting corners. Drop your brain this year, literary, and follow the spirit squarely. You'll be shocked what will happen in April, May, June, July. Says the spirit of the Lord. Is waiting for you at those three months to give you the result of your labor now. I see God rewarding people this year. I hear the Lord say, it's a year of reward. Whenever you listen to me from, listen to me, there's a reward before you now. And the one that is overdue, if the enemy is holding it, I stand on the apostolic and the prophetic mandate of my father, my spiritual father, and that which God gave me. We combine faith tonight. We release you out of that dungeon and I say your reward is before you. In the name of Jesus.
that financial door is open the bill will not bring you down i command favor i'm seeing a woman you are under a duress to sell your property the lord said in less than three days that property you will not sell it the money you need is released right now you are going to have your testimony in the name of jesus you can key into that prophecy i don't know you may have a need of finance need of starting up something new you can key into that prophecy hallelujah glory to god glory to god it produces illumination the light is a source of illumination you can't get illumination outside it illumination is direction ideas god doesn't give money when you pray for money he gives you illumination he gives you ideas don't neglect that single lead that simple leading don't neglect it it will take you far number two a surround up it boosts understanding light is an understanding booster it's a booster it's a spirit it's an understanding booster proverb chapter 20 verse 5 hallelujah hallelujah proverb 20 verse 5 it boosts understanding it boosts understanding it boosts understanding it brings us to a place where our understanding will begin to hook frequencies that God will take advantage of to take us to the breakthrough or the, the place of blessings we are expecting. Can we read together? Cancel in the heart of a man is like deep water. Cancel. The cancel of the Lord. He's talking about the world. This is a prophetic statement. We're going to see from various translations that you can open to us. He said, but a man of understanding will draw it out. That means it is available. The scripture is always there. How do you know a man of understanding? There are those men, a group of people. I love Proverbs. No, no, no. You know that there are those group of people that are drunk about knowledge. When we are done with this studio church now, they try to get the tapes immediately and they keep themselves one week target to listen to those two tapes, this series, up to five, five times per day. You leave it on repeat on your phone, on your laptop in your car you keep soaking in it and each time you listen to it afresh you hear new things it's pack up other area of knowledge because it's a spiritual hearing each time you hear it it is new and the bible says there are new every morning new every moment oh cell in the heart of man is like deep water that means there are deeper things of the spirit you cannot pick out until an understanding deeper understanding of that subject area begin to come out and and, 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 and in the, no, no no come on i will talk about the deep water the deep water is the dimension of meditation you goggle it out. you meditate you sit on it and the things will begin to bubble What a man of understanding would draw it like. Can we have various translation? Thank you, media. Oh, God bless our media. They are wonderful people. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. No good advice lies deep within the heart. It lies in there. Within your heart, it's there. But you know what? The enemy bubble foolishness most of the time. Because we didn't give attention to the word of God. The enemy seemed to bubble out weaknesses. He seemed to bubble out. Because in every Simon there is a Peter. Because in every Jacob there is an Israel. Because in every Saul there is a Paul. Under the sound of my voice, the strength is coming unto you. You are coming over obscurity to the limelight of the illumination and the understanding of scripture. And the spirit is saying that all over the world, his church is coming back to the knowledge of the glory. His church is coming back with the revelation of Jesus. And all he died to pay a price for, says the spirit. Hallelujah. He said, though good advice lies deep within the heart. 
a person with understanding will draw it out. You're going to draw out the business idea these days. You're going to draw out the, the ministerial assignment, the dimension of healing that our generation have not seen. They are available in the spiritual realm. We are pulling it out. Prophet William Braham pulled it in his own days. When we have the Azusa revival. Oh, what can Pastor Bongre do in his time? Oh, glory to God. He's being spared right now. I prophesy this is the days of great powers. Great days are here. Whatever you hear me, there are great things God is doing right now. Newman Domain Worldwide. I don't know the name of your ministry. I don't know the name of what you do. But I'm speaking by the Spirit of God. There is a rising. There is a gusher of lifting. Coming to the earth again. Says the Spirit. Something is happening everywhere. There is a quickening. This wind of the Spirit is carrying you. Beyond your scope of understanding. Says the Spirit. Great is the faith. Oh Lord. NIV, the purposes of a man's heart are deep waters, but a man of understanding draw them out. The purposes of a man's heart. So most times they are deep, and we need to bubble it to the surface through meditation. When you start meditating on, on God's word, it, it, it brings you know the meditation steer your mind, it takes you deep. And something will start pulling up. But most times we leave it blank because of the operation of our mind. Our mind thinks wrong things. It thinks fear. It thinks doubt. Our mind envisions negative activities. That's why in 2 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse number 5, the Bible says, For the weapon of our warfare is not carnal, but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of stronghold. So those strongholds will, will bubble up. So those things are on the surface. Before you know, we talk foolishly. Before you know it, we talk what we're not supposed to say. But when we give attention to God's word, that, 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 that we, have a, we are now have access to that light. Then you see the, 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 the understanding, the deeper understanding will begin to come in. Hallelujah. We begin to boost it. We boost it by drawing it out. We draw it out as we study. We draw it out as we preach. We draw it out as we act on the word. We are drawing it out. We are drawing it out. It's within us. That no wonder Jesus said in, in John chapter 7, on the last day of the feast, he stood. He said, oh, is any man tested? He said, come in and drink. It's free. So out of our belly shall flow rivers. We allow that rivers to pour out. Do you understand him? Pull it out. Give me Proverbs 1, 5. As a round of the series. Glory to God. We have one more point left. Thank you, Jesus. Can you say thank you, Jesus, in the studio? Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Can I feel you in the studio? Glory to God. Woo! You know the Lord is in this place. Glory to God. A wise man will hear and will increase learning. Ho, ho, ho. Glory to God. You will increase learning this year. You increase learning. Learning in all field of life. You increase learning. You kill pride this year. That thing that is telling you you know too much and you have arrived, you kill it off. There are deep things of God. Hallelujah. In Deuteronomy 29, 29, he said the secret things belongs unto God, but they reveal things unto his children. And each time you come, they are fresh every moment. They are fresh every new day. His faithfulness causes it to be coming out of you. Hallelujah. Men thought that you have, they've seen a dimension of you. They meet you again. You, you come out in another realm. Hallelujah. I thank the Spirit of God over how, what he's doing in this ministry. Listen, every ministry has a mandate. We are new man. We are spirit domain. Each time we gather, the Holy Ghost teaches us. The Holy Ghost manifests himself. Bring healing to people. Bring a lot of changes. We, are, we don't have a dull moment here. And I, I don't expect it under the sound of my voice. Something is coming on you. You can't get depressed. You can't get dejected. You can't just walk lonely. There's a God on your inside. There's a Christ in you. And there is a hope of a glorious life. I spark a new thing happening around you right now. 
There's something great around you right now as I'm speaking. Glory to God. He's a wise man will hear and, and increase in, in learning. That's why we travel kilometers. We move around. We get on the net. We go to YouTube. We look for God's word. We are addicted to these things. We burn data there. Each data we burn, we know there's an increase in our spirit. Hallelujah. The spiritual substance is what is the word of a man. In 2 Corinthians, Paul said, Though the outward man may perish, but the inner man is renewed day in, day out. We feed the inner man daily. You compare that man to draw water continuously. You're not drawing out the water looking for those that will drink. But when the water is available, he causes men to come to drink. You see, if the sky be full of rain, they empty themselves. My God, when you draw it out, the water will begin to outpour. We call it outpouring. I prophesy it's a year of outpouring as well. God is going to outpour his glory from within you. A man shall come to drink of that glory. Glory to God. They will drink and they will be satisfied. They will give to others to drink. They too will be satisfied. You know that what God is talking, spreading and expansion. Something great is happening to you. The move of God is not stopping with you. It's, it came from a generation generation and we are transferring it to a generation that is what i'm doing in the studio right now as you watch me something is coming on you grace is released on you right now by the apostolic mandate and something is activated afresh lord you reign forever you reign forever i worship Worship you, you reign, you reign, you reign. Oh, Lord, you reign forever. You reign forever. I worship you, Lord. I worship you. I worship. see hallelujah a wise man we hear and we increase in learning oh hallelujah how do i assess light as a son it's not enough to be a son and just you relax the the, 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 the endless creatures are waiting for the manifestations of souls so we need to increase knowledge god does not increase knowledge in you you seek it he says, seek ye me and you will find me. It's not talking literally of a, of a person. It's talking about the dimension of knowledge. You seek it. He said, Bible says, early will I seek you. If he said, early will I seek you. He said, one thing that I, that, I, that I inquire of the Lord, he said, that I may seek him and dwell in his house forever. What is he talking about? He's talking about the arena, a dimension of his knowledge. So that he can assess himself to life. Glory to God, my shattered by her. He said, and a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsels. As you begin to go in for more of then, then the ability to humble yourself so that you can take counsels. The counsels of the Lord. Hallelujah. Can we have another translation? As we round up now. We have one more point left, and it will be done in the next few minutes. Glory to God. Are you blessed tonight? Sure, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know, I know, glory. <laughs> Woo! New Living Translation. He said, Let the wise listen to this proverb and become even wiser. Let those with understanding receive guidance. In other words, you can just sit down and take what you know back to him in meditation. Then he'll begin to supply back again. Now, listen to me. Look up here. Now, under the sound of my voice, there's a technology I want to bring out now. Now, God is a respecter of your brain. He created it for a purpose. Now, what does it mean? In meditation, sometimes you use your brain to cram scripture. And then when you sit down, you can 
you can just take it from the memory archive of your brain for instance john 3 16 then you voice it to yourself for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever shall believe in him shall not perish now you you begin to voice it out you see it's the, the second stage of meditation now the thinking stage you just have it you are not pouring it out it's within you you can think about a scripture but the muttering side you voice it to your hearing now the portion coming back to your hearing can turn to a rhema it will echo something within you then your spirit will pick that verse and get into the original archive then when when it process it it will not send it back to your mind which earlier supply it the information but this time it has become inspired it has not been incubated that means john 3 16 now will throw more light to you than you supply earlier that means your mind can assist your spirit with information but when the information is processed in your spirit and returned back to your mind it's returning as revelation thank you holy spirit so number three thank you lord jesus light through darkness into confusion number three effect when light begin to come into you i said number one effect it produces illumination you don't lack idea you'll be full of knowledge you'll be full of what to do you know where to go you know who to meet you know what to say oh my god receive this unction right now number two it boosts understanding you begin to draw out the water daily you seek it now beyond going to preach to people please drop that pride of always trying to get new things to go and teach people let it become part of you. When it enter you, it oozes naturally. Sometimes I get to a meeting and I'll keep talking and talking. You leave me to preach nine hours, I'm still there talking. No, it's coming out because I didn't go to that meeting with the intention I want to go and show off. It's just pouring out. The water is just pouring out. At that level, no natural time cheats you any longer. We're having a workers' meeting in this place, and my wife was preparing for this meeting and said, Honey, wow, how is your meeting going to be tonight? He said, Wow, I told Susu brother to give us the word. And the brother said, He has some depth of revelation that is good. He said, Then you know, ask her, Give me time because I'm loaded. Then when they gave this brother time, in just five minutes, he have exhausted all he think he knows. On social media, he's a nurse maker. He may smack too much but the moment people gather to hear him to they started pulling him in three minutes they drain him they say capacity will come on we will teach you with time when we preach like this all over the world people are as they are listening to me they are draining something now but the river is poor you know it depends on your capacity there are some of you who stand on this platform and talk for 10 minutes you can't drive your car home they will sap you dry in the spirit realm men will draw you you get home tired you may even sleep off before they heal you see some men every day they talk they preach here and there capacity they, you know listen this it, it comes from a depth of revelation like the light realm you go in there to equip yourself first i'm not talking about anointing and spiritual gifting let's leave that talk for another time because i will deviate those one can walk irrespective of what i'm talking about but you won't go far you'll be anointed but your character zero you start seeking cancer from within and the cancer will come and you begin to do the right thing now let, let's move on i say number three light it throws darkness into confusion the, when you start assessing light as a son darkness will be thrown into confusion but god programmed darkness to be confused at, at your appearance john chapter 1 and verse 4 to 5 hallelujah are you blessed tonight come on say i'm the light of the world say i know who i am who are you i'm the light who am i i'm the light of the world not the light of the church the church is already lighted i remain the light of the world my light has no place in the church much. Because everybody is light here. So there's no point. So this is the year we go out there. There's, some people, like, there's this song. This little light of mine. M. This little light of mine. Yes, Lord. I'm gonna let it shine. 
Aleluya. This little light of yours, no, I'm the light of the world. My light is not little. He lives in me. Jesus said, you know, come on, look up at me. He said, as long as I'm in the world, I remain the light of the world. Why? Because the day he came into the world, it was in the night. The night became a day. And the day he died on the cross, it was in the day. The, so he reversed it. And now he's in me by his spirit. I'm not little. Oh, glory to God. I'm as big as him. Glory to God. The light of God in me. I'm going to let me shine the light of God as I am. And I'm going to let me shine the light of God in me. I'm going to let me shine. And it's shining. And it's shining everywhere. Come on, let's go. Hey, hey, hey. This light of God in me. Gonna shine every day, everywhere. This I'm gonna let it shine. I'm the light of the world. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. It's shining everywhere. In Afghanistan, it's shining right now. In Qatar, Kuwait, in Saudi Arabia, it's shining everywhere. It's subject to shine. Glory to God. Let's have the let's have the third point and then we 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 we, we celebrate Jesus continuously. See, in him was life, and the life was the light of men. Next verse. Glory to God. Because the assignment of light is to shine. Because light has been programmed not to be covered. So he said, You cannot light and put bougie, whatever with the candle and put it there. No, no, he said, put it on the hill. And he said, and the light shine. I mean, the light is programmed against darkness in genesis chapter one we saw darkness and light came on board since then anywhere you see light in scripture is assignment is to come and knock off no there's an ignorance in some people's life why do we teach why did god give us mandate of studio church so that we can organize a revelation for the body of christ to equip the saint through knowledge in teaching of series so that when they come to draw the water you know listen the deep in us call it unto deep what does it mean that mean a preacher listening to this tape right now you can have one billion tape from this only single one it's pack up the dimension you carry you didn't come to reduce your dimension you come to open your eyes when you know this we listen to one another you say a little here a little there can i hear you say amen so this idea of thinking that you are the superstar in the kingdom you will soon dry up don't do that no we're going to learn from each other Hallelujah. And the light shineth in darkness. Why do you want to run from darkness? No, we don't run. We shine. Glory to God. Man, God, man, God. You don't know what you're talking about. Man, God, you need to know where I live. You need to know that are witches and a lot of man are wizards. That we have necromancer on my street. That we got herbalists. My landlord is a herbalist. No, you're not going to run. I'm commanding you to shine there right now. They're going to check out. You shine. I command your light to shine. You are going to. You are not going to quit. And the light shine it where in darkness. And darkness comprehended it not. I said, when light, oh Jesus, light threw darkness into confusion. The word com comprehend me, ca ca you know, catalambano. He said, he cannot receive it. They cannot receive what the light can. The darkness will just disappear. If it's not even around, they can't receive anything from light. The only thing received from light is permission to live. Light, check darkness is out. When we came into town, this is a city where people by seven o'clock you are afraid to come out. But through Jim Tongi in a vision of prayer by four a.m., people are bold. One a.m. they are in church.
in charge. They move around freely. Because the hand of God is in control. I say God is in control of your destiny right now. And the light shineth in darkness. And the darkness comprehend it not. Hallelujah. And the light shineth in darkness. And the light shineth in darkness. I mean, God has programmed us as a light, and our mission is to shine in darkness. Please give me your attention in the studio. When we begin to talk about light shining in darkness, you see reactions, you see responses. These are practical because in the spirit realm, these are things the devil don't want people to hear. Under the sound of my voice, even at home, don't leave this tape. To sleep off, sit well, and get something into your spirit. That means light has been programmed to shine in darkness. Light does not negotiate with darkness. You have to shine. In other words, God is saying, have a consciousness of the light. The problem is around you, in practical. Begin to look at who you are. Look at the dimension of your God. See, see the immortality that dwelleth in the light. He clothed himself with light. And we are born into that realm. He commissioned us as the light of the world. So we don't permit ignorance that is the darkness to stay around us. What do I do? I go for knowledge. I humble myself. When I travel for conference, you see me, I sit down to tough revelation. I sit to listen to me. Whether you understand more than me, I don't care. There's something you have. At most times, I may not have something to judge from your sermon, but there's something scratching the one I already know in my spirit. Humble yourself. Don't keep quiet. This is a, a lot of you when you go out, at times you get preachers preaching, you don't allow them to talk. Say, ah, a chroma. No, no, keep quiet. That's arrogance. Receive grace to listen to many. Just smile and keep quiet. Because the, the, the people around you who are supposed to gain, they won't gain. They see that you are puffing up. There's a way you can present what you know in ignorant way and people will not take it from you. Even when you are serious, they don't take it again. And I tell you, it's a new era to you. And in summary, the benefit of sonship we assess light through sonship. And one of the effects of light is that one, it produces what? Illumination. In our heart, to assess ideas, to assess great things of the kingdom. Hallelujah. 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 And as a roundup, it boosts understanding. It's an understanding booster. And finally, it throws darkness into confusion. Instead of you being confused, darkness will be the one being confused by time. Come on, say, I refuse to be confused. Say it again. I refuse to be confused. Give the Lord praise. Give the Lord praise. Under the sound of my voice, wherever you're listening to me from, you are sick in your body, place your hand on the device. Whatever has been a challenge, receive healing right now. I command healing in the name of Jesus. I declare and declare every darkness around you have disappeared. You are the light of the world. You are the one in charge. Light does not complain. This ministry is to shine. I see you shining. It's your sonship right. It is well with you in Jesus' name. Celebrate Jesus. Thank you for listening. Don't keep this light you've heard. Walk with and on it. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter at Numa Domain. And on YouTube at Numa Domain TV. For prayers and counseling, call 0706-290-4206. Also, be a part of our services at Numa Domain Ministry of Odeni Roundabout, Salem City, Unsuka, Enugu State, Nigeria.